is Andrew Odom of Tiny Revolution, and I am here today to tour the Little Lake Nest at the Outpost in Winter Park, Florida. Now, I'm down in Winter Park, well, the Orlando area for family vacation, so I thought I'd pop in and see a little bit more about the Outpost RV community, which has not one, not two, but six tiny houses that are available uh, for uh, for long-term rent, for short-term rent, via Airbnb, and also some extra spots that are available for you to come and park your tiny house. Now, it's really cool down here because just off to uh, this side of the house is a beautiful lake uh, with a clear Florida blue sky and uh, the highway right over, right over here. Now, it's not loud, but the highway is there for accessibility, so that's very cool. So like I said, I'm here in the Little Lake Nest. Now, this is seven foot wide by 18 foot long. It's one of the smaller tiny houses available on Airbnb, but it's in Florida, so who's gonna stay inside? It features two sleeping lofts, a downstairs sitting area, a kitchen, which you can see right behind me, and a number of other things. So, again, Let's take a tour and see what you can get by renting this tiny house on Airbnb. The main sleeping loft is accessible by a set of steps that have a handrail for safety. Once up there, you can see that it would easily sleep two people and also give you a lot of headroom. It's connected to the other sleeping loft via a catwalk made of metal grating, so you can easily get back and forth. You'll also notice the flat screen TV for that entertainment you're looking for. When you look down, you can see the rest of the house, which is a nice little feature, that see-through catwalk. As you can see, I can kind of touch wall to wall, so it's not huge in here, but it is pretty spacious. And remember, it is a tiny house. Downstairs you have a clear view of the hangout area, the sitting area if you will, as well as a nice well-appointed kitchen that's suitable for cooking right there in the tiny house. It has running water, place setting for four, and did I mention running water? Yeah, great feature. A hot plate, coffee pot, a uh, microwave oven, a toaster oven, and a good refrigerator with lots of storage room for your staying needs. And don't forget storage. Underneath the countertop, there's ample storage for dry goods, non-perishables, pots and pans, those things. Hanging on the wall and out of sight are the chairs that are then used for the dining table, which is pretty cool. It flips up and down to the wall to be out of the way just by lifting it up and down and then using an anchor arm. One of the things I definitely noticed was the air conditioning. Nobody wants to sweat in a house in Florida in the summer, so there's a good LG wall unit to keep the place cool. Let's head back to the bathroom. The bathroom's traditionally plumbed and has a lot of privacy via the barn door. Hey, give me a second. I'll be right with you. You'll also notice that inside this tiny house, even though it is a tiny house, has a wonderful soaking tub. All of the water features are powered by a nice on-demand hot water heater at the front of the trailer. Again, the toilet is a traditional flush toilet. There's plenty of storage above it, nice natural lighting, a good wainscot look, and also a good sink for brushing your teeth, washing your hands, or doing whatever it is you need to do to get ready to go out. So that's the Little Lake Nest. Not huge, but definitely big on comfort. 126 square feet, wonderful owners who are happy to rent to you on Airbnb and who are also happy to, uh, to rent to the likes of me. So if you don't mind, I'm going to kick off my shoes, head upstairs, crank the AC up, and watch a little TV. Until next time, I'm Andrew Odom for Tiny Revolution.